Ever wondered how to decode a stock chart? Well, you're in the right place. Stock charts play a crucial role in the world of investing and trading. They are, in essence, a graphical representation of stock prices over a certain period of time. Why are they so important, you may ask? Well, these charts help traders and investors to visualize and understand the ebb and flow of the market. They are the crystal balls of the financial world, aiding in predicting future price movements. Think of stock charts as the heartbeat monitor of a company. They tell us the health of a company's stock, the highs and lows, and the rhythm of its performance. Understanding these charts isn't just for Wall Street wizards either. They're a tool for anyone looking to make informed decisions about their investments. So, buckle up. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid foundation to start reading and interpreting stock charts. First things first, we need to understand the basic elements of a stock chart. Let's start with the three pillars of any stock chart. Price, volume, and time period. The price is the heartbeat of the stock chart. It's the number you see fluctuating throughout the day and is represented by the vertical axis on the right. This is the cost you'd have to pay to purchase a share of that particular stock at any given moment. Next up is volume. Volume is the total number of shares that are traded during a specific period. It's usually represented by bars at the bottom of the chart. The height of the bar indicates the number of shares traded. The taller the bar, the more shares have been bought or sold. This can give you a sense of how many people are interested in a particular stock at a given time. Last, but certainly not least, we have the time period. This is represented by the horizontal axis at the bottom of the chart. It can range from a single day to several years, depending on what you are interested in. It gives you a timeline of the stock's performance, allowing you to see how the price and volume have changed over time. Now let's talk about the different types of stock charts. The line chart is the simplest. It plots the closing price of a stock over a certain period, connecting each day's closing price with a continuous line. The bar chart is a bit more complex, showing the opening, high, low, and closing prices for each trading day. Each bar represents a single day of trading. Finally, we have the candlestick chart, a favorite among traders. It's similar to the bar chart, but it uses a series of rectangles or candles to represent price movements. The main body of the candle shows the opening and closing prices while the wicks sticking out from the top and bottom represent the highest and lowest prices during that period. Now that we have a grasp on the basic elements, we can start to delve deeper into the world of stock charts. Price and volume are the heart of any stock chart, but how do we read them? Well, let's dive right in. When we look at a stock chart, the price is typically represented by a line or a series of bars. This line or bars show the movement of the price over a given period. It may rise, fall, or stay flat depending on the market's activity. Now, a rising price line indicates that the stock's value is increasing. This is often an attractive sign to investors as it suggests the company is performing well or is expected to in the near future. On the flip side, a falling price line suggests the opposite, that the stock's value is decreasing, often signaling a less favorable outlook. But price alone doesn't tell the whole story. That's where volume comes in. Volume usually shown as a bar graph at the bottom of the chart, represents the number of shares traded during a certain period. High volume means a lot of shares changed hands, while low volume means few shares were traded. So, why is volume important? Well, volume gives us an insight into the strength of price movements. A price increase on high volume is a strong signal that the market is confident about the stock's upward direction. It means a lot of investors are buying, which could push the price even higher. Conversely, a price increase on low volume might suggest less conviction in the upward move. Similarly, a price decrease on high volume indicates strong selling pressure which could lead to further price drops. But if the price falls on low volume it might suggest that the selling is not as intense and the price might stabilize soon. In essence, volume helps us gauge the market sentiment, the collective feeling or mood of investors about a particular stock. It's like listening to the whispers of the market, giving us a better sense of what might be coming next. So, understanding price and volume is not just about reading numbers off a chart. It's about interpreting the story those numbers tell about investor sentiment and market trends. And that, my friends, is crucial in predicting future price movements. All right, now that we've got the basics of price and volume down, let's add another layer to our chart reading skills. The candlestick patterns. Candlestick patterns are visual representations of price movements during a specified time period. They are called candlesticks because the rectangular shape and lines on either end 
resemble a candle with wicks. Each candlestick tells a story of the battle between buyers and sellers over a given period. The color of the candlestick, whether it is filled or hollow, the length of the body, and the length of the wicks all provide clues about the sentiment of the market during that time period. For instance, a long filled body with small wicks indicates a strong selling pressure, while a long hollow body with small wicks signals strong buying pressure. Recognizing these patterns can help predict potential price movements. But remember, like any other technical analysis tool, candlestick patterns should not be used in isolation. Always consider them in conjunction with other indicators and market information. In our upcoming scenes, we'll explore more about these. So, stay tuned. Before we proceed further into the complexities of stock charts, let's take a brief pause. If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. It helps us to reach more people who are interested in understanding the stock market. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We regularly upload content like this, providing insights and making complex financial concepts easy to grasp. You can also hit the bell icon to get notifications whenever we post a new video. Now, let's get back to understanding more about stock charts. The time frame you choose to view your stock chart can greatly impact your trading decisions. Now, let's dive into the concept of time frames. Think of these as the lens through which you view the ups and downs of the stock market. There are three primary time frames that investors commonly use, daily, weekly, and monthly. Daily charts are like the minute-by-minute -minute updates of the stock world. They show the price movement of a stock within a single day of trading. If you're a day trader or someone who likes to get into the nitty-gritty details, this is your go-to time frame. Next, we have the weekly charts. These are for those who prefer a slightly wider perspective. Instead of the hustle and bustle of daily changes, the weekly charts show you the broader strokes of the stock's performance over a week. This is especially useful if you're more of a medium-term investor. And finally, we have the monthly charts. These are the grand view of the stock's performance, showing its progress over several weeks. Long-term investors often find these charts particularly useful as they provide a bird's-eye view of the stock's behavior over extended periods. Now, let's talk about trends. Trends are the general direction in which a stock's price is moving. There are three types of trends, upward, downward, and sideways. An upward trend, also known as a bull market, is when prices are generally rising. This is the ideal scenario for investors, as it means your stock's value is increasing. A downward trend, or a bear market, is when prices are generally falling. While this might seem like bad news, savvy investors can use this opportunity to buy stocks at a lower price. Lastly, a sideways trend, or a flat market, is when prices are relatively stable. This can be a period of uncertainty where the market is deciding which direction to go next. Remember, the trend is your friend. Understanding these trends and how they relate to different time frames can help you make informed decisions and potentially increase your profits in the stock market. Technical indicators can further enhance your understanding of the market. They're like secret codes revealing hidden patterns and trends that the naked eye might miss. But don't worry, you don't need to be a cryptographer to understand them. Let's break down a few key ones. First up, we have the moving average. Think of it as the smooth operator of indicators. It helps filter out the noise from random price fluctuations by showing the average price over a certain number of periods. If the price is above the moving average, it's generally a bullish sign. And if it's below, it's a bearish sign. Next, we have the Relative Strength Index, or RSI. This one is a momentum oscillator that measures the speed and change of price movements. It's like a speedometer for stocks, ranging from 0 to 100. Generally, an RSI above 70 indicates a stock might be overbought or overvalued and could be due for a price correction. Conversely, an RSI below 30 suggests a stock might be oversold or undervalued and could be poised for a price increase. Lastly, Let's talk about the Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MACD, for short. This indicator shows the relationship between two moving averages of a stock's price. When the MACD crosses above the signal line, it's a bullish signal that suggests it might be a good time to buy. When it crosses below, it's a bearish signal that might indicate a good time to sell. Remember, technical indicators are not crystal balls. They can't predict the future with absolute certainty but they can help you make educated guesses about where the market might be headed. They're tools in your investing toolbox, helping you cut through the market's mysteries 
and make more informed decisions. Using technical indicators can give you an edge in your trading decisions. So go ahead, get your hands dirty with these indicators. Because in the world of investing, knowledge truly is power. So, we've covered a lot of ground today, haven't we? We kicked off with the basic elements of stock charts laying the foundation for your investing journey. Then we delved into reading price and volume, the heartbeat of the market, and the pulse of any given stock. We advanced further into understanding timeframes and trends where we realized that timing isn't everything, but it sure is crucial. Finally, we explored using technical indicators, the tools that help us make sense of market behavior. But always remember, this is just the beginning, an introduction to the vast and exciting world of stock charts. Each chart has its own story to tell, and each investor interprets that story differently. That's the beauty of it all. It's more than just numbers. It's about understanding market psychology and investor sentiment. Remember, understanding stock charts is more of an art than a science. With practice and patience, you'll be decoding stock charts like a pro in no time.